plenty of fresh snow in here. Yeah. It's good though. This corner of us gets sensitive, so as long as you're in here, no, no problem. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, try and stay there, not there, because then... Contact left! Contact left! Contact left! We are uh, special forces, and in doing so, you know, the special forces is always adapting and changing uh, just to climate more in general. And I think most importantly, uh, being here, it's a climate we don't often work in, and it's super important for us to get knowledge, uh, mainly with uh, the, the simple stuff, you know. Um, how does your body, you know, work in this environment? And it's super important to us um, so we can prepare for any kind of uh, conflict um, so we can be successful in it. Operating in the cold, first and foremost, it's difficult and nobody wants to do it. It's definitely a select few um, that has to be identified, that's willing to you know, get out there, get exposed with it, and take that challenge, because it's difficult. Uh, for instance, just changing your socks is a task, and it's, it's a hard task to do. Uh, it's been awesome. Uh, these guys are the professionals in this environment, and generally speaking, if we're trying to learn something for the first time, we want to learn it from the professionals. And everything, the tricks, the tips, uh, that has helped us immensely. Um, once again, just like I said, to be able to do the simple task and make them easy. Oh, NATO forces, honestly, because it's a joint effort, and I firmly believe that because we can't um, operate in anything alone. We're always depending on each other. And NATO specifically can benefit from this by learning just the essentials, how to survive and be successful in this environment. Because I, I keep going back to this, it's extremely difficult to do the simple task. And when you look at it from a bigger picture, if we can accomplish a simple task, then the actual task of whatever we're being tasked to do with uh, to operate in this environment, that's where the success uh, comes from.